on this one. We got Nerve Demo as a balance as well. Meat Market joins on as a Retribution Paladin. Luck. Trying to see if he can actually get some luck to get a, a proper game today, as well as cool this. And they're sending the homie. Chicago over on that team. They're still waiting for a plus one, but for now, we got Chicago. We got Leave going to be first up as a survival. Ivy as a marksman. Tuncher's technically do counter mages pretty well, as well as Stony. We're waiting for his turn. And the Hunter. Are you you get a, a shaman putting a buff on your pet? Is that what it is? Is that Chicago? Okay, I'm okay with him putting a buff on your pet. I don't really know if that does anything, but I'm okay with it because for us, it is just going to be a pet that's going to live long enough for you to be able to ramp up with a big arcane surge. Arcane missiles flying in, leave taking a big damage, but also got him some massive defense, but it doesn't even matter as he just gets absolutely crushed instead of the touch of the magi. Yes, you got yourself. Did you get yourself the procs for the big missiles too? Is that what that was? I like your mark, by the way. The farmer's outfit looks good on you. What is that? I said I put it up there, couldn't take it off. All good, all good, all good. All good. Wash? I wouldn't say that about yourself, Silver. Don't say that about yourself. It's Seamark we're talking about. Is the homie, is the guy. You know what I mean? Just watch him run circles, dude. When you see Seamark play, it's pretty ridiculous. Gonna be a touch of the magic onto Stony. Taking huge hits. Might be looking at a bubble. Trying to see if he can stay on top of boss as best as he can. Shield advantage to follow. Might be looking at immunity. That seals a lot of damage built up. The guy's gonna take huge touch of the magic. Huge hits to follow. Might be in... Is he not gonna put up his bubble? He has to, right? At some point, he's got it. There goes the bubble for Asa. It's an icebox trading one for the other. And Stony ramping up to try to see if he can maybe keep himself a little bit of that crusade going. Back it up out. Looks like crusade is about to fall off. Needs to get himself a little bit extra health. But he didn't really spend a lot of the bubble getting defensive, going for a heal. So he mostly just spent it trying to see if he can maybe keep the ramp going. But it's rough. Trying to see if he can catch up a little bit of health. His ring of fire is down as a barrage comes through for Asa. He seems to slow the guy down. And Sony will quickly realize sitting behind the pillar. Doesn't really do anything for you, because that's just going to be a big ring of fire behind the corner, as well as uh, Arcanosphere, Arcane Orbs. You can't really sit still at all with an Arcane Mage, because they can just punish you just for hanging out behind the pillar. Stony, just trying to use whatever mana they got to try to maintain themselves. It might be one of the situations where he'll wait. He'll have to probably wait until um, Crusade is back up to then go for a big all-in versus Austin with an immunity. And I think that might be how you'll have to leverage it while staying on the move trying to catch up whatever healing he can whatever band whatever patches of arcane singes he can just patch up here and there that's about all i think he can't really do got him some shield defenders it is big value stun him to austin but that's not gonna hold him back at all got himself a little bit of damage knocked back with that arcana sphere where the missiles puncturing through the shield of vengeance stoning behind the pillar trying to see if he can cover as much as possible while austin going in for a little bit of that um shift in power to recuperate cooldowns eating the ring of fire as well as the orbs around the pillar there is a bunch you can do how's he go for lay on hands he won't have an immunity team He's got to maybe make a play. Hand of Freedom. He's there ready for it immediately. Austin got himself the most amount of damage. I don't really know if he can stop him. Trying to see if he can land a kick. Doesn't quite connect. Oh, Stony. That is a rough one. That is a rough one to fight against, man. Paladin versus a mage or versus Arcane in particular. That is not easy. That is a really, really tough matchup. Oh, wait. We got a fifth one in team, two, team one. Good. Good. It's Sub Rogue. Oh, goody. Maybe, maybe, they, maybe Chicago could just be like, hey. Wait, you want to go? You want to get a chance? I feel like Subro does actually have a pretty good chance shot against the mage in general, whether it's a Frost or a King. Because Ivy is technically a class that has probably some of the best shots versus Austin. Just shock him. If you can get yourself a setup, that physical damage actually just punctures right through a mage. All that easily you can do it from a distance. You just got to get yourself a nice setup. Austin got himself at least a little bit of recovery, but it looks of it all the time. Is that still up? I think it's still up. Touching the magic, catches Ivy. Does go for a feint. Cannot remove feints anymore. Barrage gets a low turtle shell barely alive. Is your pet okay? Pet is alive. At least you have that. But you don't have a lot of health to work with. Oh no, unless you catch a camera missiles, it's over. Oh, that is so rough. The fact that they, because they use basically the same thing as Austin Seamark. Yes, yeah, Seamark. Is yeah, the hobby. He is the homie. That is the boy. I mean, if you just watch him play, like you could, you could tell. There's like a way, a specific way Silver plays, which is very, very aggressive. Very like, I don't want to play a long game. I don't want to have to reset for long. That is just like iconic Seamark. All the time with the ready as well. Trying to see if he could build up a flagellation stun onto Awesome. Cannot really get himself out of that situation. Trying to see if he can use all the time to reposition. Web might be looking at a vanish potential. He doesn't have a cloak of shadows anymore. Use it really early. Blind. From a good bit of distance on to see if I trying to see if he can get himself a reset. Is he just is he good? His web is just checking on him. Double checking on him. Wait, is, oh, he's deceived. 
Wait, Blind actually got him. Wait, hold on a second. Wait. <laughs> Web is giving him a chance. Hold on a second. Hold on a moment. Let it cook. He's back in. Hold on a second. He's trying to... I think he's trying to polymorph just to get him. Yeah, he's trying to reset it. Trying to reset it. Let him come back. <laughs> that is so good. Except I hate the gray health bar that you got going on. Like he's in a class of his own now. Gray health bar. Not blue, not anything. Just like whole another class together get a shout out to austin does have a blink available web is ready to go for steps back to back that little reset for seabrook does give web an opportunity to at least wait out on the clock of shadows a little bit longer might be able to get it back up at some point interrupted on fire does board back with a slow orb already wave it onto web oh second hold on vanish might need to use it wait did he dc two a web might have dc there at the end it looked like the man was running in place for a moment he had two vanishes by the looks of it that is unfortunate. Chicago lasso left. You gotta find a way to fight. I like the big frog and the Kragwa attire going on. The frog Loa blesses you today. At least hopefully. <laughs> oh no. How's this gonna go? This used to be one of those matches where Arcane had zero chance against a handsome shaman for such a long while, man. For a good portion of BFA, and even at some point in Shadowlands too. And then all of a sudden, this adventure rolled out, and that's it. Man's out in the open, blasting him out. Gonna get hit by fire with an arcane, with an arcanosphere. Not letting him any any recovery behind the pillar. Does catch an interrupt on to Chicago. No way to interrupt the burst out of the mage. Chicago does have a wall for this one. Leaping him back to Austin with a Sunder for just a second. Dropping down a totem, but it's gonna be fire blasted immediately. Austin with double ring with a fire breath right after. Trying to see if he can back up out of the missiles. Nothing he could do. At that point, once you get the missiles behind the pillar, you can't interrupt him. You can't really stop him. Clean sweep. Is it Kenner back in? It is Kenner back in. As is going to be lucky back up in there, trying to see if he can drink it really early on with an evasion blind out of Kenner, taking lots of hits out of the road, going for the AMS just to deal with Sepsis. But look at the amount of damage Sepsis is doing, even though Lucky has barely gotten to touch this Death Knight. All he did is put up a fatty poison effect and just been chilling. Cloak of Shadows for the Rogue. Get a shot into Kenner. Cannot really do much. Trying to sacrifice his own pet. And it's just going to explode. Trying to summon a new one. Death pet either way though. You're still putting yourself, I guess, so corner right now. Can't do much to stop this rogue as he has two vanishes available. Vanish. Just a shadow strike to get a gap close over the death that AMS up for the DK. Trying to live the streak and to follow. Lucky does go down in health really, really low. But gets back in there while Kenner is super low health. <laughs> this guy is the ultimate assassin. I swear. He's so reckless. I love it. Big burst out of top G the lucky at no more health available even with a vanish try to see if you can get cooldowns back but not much available hot or hot is back up and not running are you an A? I thought for some reason hot was over in the EU actually I don't even know if I'm saying your name correctly or not I don't even know what to do with that uh little rooftop looking uh, symbol over here oh but stop G trying to see if you can does not trying to see if he can not go down versus hot right now bubble up for the paladin does top g have an answer for this one might have to go for a leap and get away looking just to walk out of it does go for the leap hot trying to see if he can catch up and stay on him another leap for top g with a reflect i don't really know what you were going to reflect back at hot but if it was a hodge that would have been huge does go for the hodge hot trying to see if he can take down top but top saving the big defensive for those kind of a situations where there's nothing he can do he just up against the wall has to find a way just to sustain himself as hot doesn't really look all that good right now does go for the lay on hands this gives top g an opportunity now there's a forbearance on the paladin and there isn't much that can do to create an immunity situation as there was one big heal available trying to see if you can charge out to rosie right after as rosie trying to live up to the name as rosie blasted blasted top g trying to take down the totem light and lasso no ass for this one barely has any health does get booked around stormbolt just to stop down rosie for just a second yet another lead after that knockback as Rosie cannot find a way to get rid of Top G at all does root him in place for a second Top G can maybe go for a bloodthirst or two on the earth elemental at the very least taking lots of big hits needs someone for this one needs some kind of way to recover health as he just instant cast back to back firing away for Rosie does some self reflect in case Rosie does go for like lasso or something is gonna burrow down that burrow come up is gonna do quite a bit of damage Rosie is getting kind of lowest on health though Stra into a shockwave right as soon as you pop up stunned by the earth elemental final sun available for that that one rosie blasting out top g with quite a big bit of big hits with that elemental blaster 
Fala. Healing Surge is available. Trying to go for a knock, but Top G just able to counter with a leap of his own. Lanta Lassa does get himself a triple low. Trink at last second. Needs a heal. Does get himself a heal last second with a reflect to follow. Rosa needs to find a way to peel uh, Top G off him. Taking down the totem in a quick, clean swipe, but still super low on health. Trying to catch back up into a, a big meteor coming down. Rosa looking for a catch up and a quick recovery before the next competitor is out of the gates. Is it going to be Hawkins next? It is going to be Hawkins. Trying to give Rosie as much of an honorable duel here. Going in for a full mana region, mana reset. That was such a close duel between the two, man. That was so, so, so rough. I don't even know what you could have done differently there either. Rosie getting hit with a Garot as Hawk is just going to build up the damage little by little. Does press the cloak very early on and is going to commit everything to Rosie. Mad hits. What was that? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what was those chunky hits? He just like. Good portions of his health just got erased in just a couple of globals. And Killer Demon is going to be up next. Hawk is able to load him up full of dots. And if you can just escape, maybe leaving him with a crippling poison, you might just be able to get away from the guy. As Killer trying to charge in and out, but he's just melting little by little. My goodness, Hawk is, is in a great spot. Caught himself a reset. As long as Killer doesn't find him early, you're at no health. You don't even have a trinket anymore. Hold on. This dots could just be the end of you. You're going to have a heart attack in a bit. Give it a second. There it goes. It was a 10% health and then vanished. If you get him low enough, sudden demise from rogues is going to be able to take him down. Walking into a volley does get hit with a hunter's mark. This is an opportunity for Necro to maybe get himself a go. As if Hakka stays in the room, he's going to take big hits. Sniper into a huge burst. Explosive. Not explosive, actually. It's going to be Chimeric. Does have a, a rapid fire roll into the guy. Maybe has line of sight. Trying to see if he can get a slow. Does have maybe an execute. Kill shot. Oh, does go for the blind as the death shark is on Hawkins trinket side of it. And Hawk is just dead. Unless somehow lives it. Hold on a second. Oh no, he does die. I don't know what kind of a dot you put on him at the end there, but something did end up taking him out. Up next is either gonna be Chill Pills or Chicago. And looks like Chilled is ready to go. He's chilled. Five minutes into the duel, 23% dampening. And for Necro, it's going to be, I think, one of those fights is going to be very difficult to escape from. Just because Death Knights can counter a lot of your knockbacks, a lot of your uh, traps with the AMS, and then just go in pile driving damage with big obliterates back to back. Got him some AMS, trying to see if he could run through all the traps. Maybe you could use a freezing trap to stop him. Scatter is going to be huge. But if he puts a doubt on you, there's not a lot of ways for you to remove it. Also, slows are going to be kind of massive, too. Trying to trap down Chill Pills, just cutting him out as best as possible. There goes the grip. Death track up to follow. Chill's taking quite a few hits. Does go for the freeze as the stun comes out. That is so good for Necro, but still going to eat a couple of those obliterates back to back. Doesn't have Turtle anymore, so just over. Chill Pills is able to punish him quite quickly. That was a fast one, actually. With Hakus picking up two, Top G picking up two, and Chill Pills picking up one real quick. My goodness, let's get us this another one going. We got some fast ones in here, boys. Actually, don't even get a second to really ramp up for nothing.